So the primary purpose of this video is to show you how to upload your ePortfolio link into the assignment box in Canvas. But I'm also going to show you a couple of other little things that will hopefully help you. So first of all, here I am with my Google Sites newly created ePortfolio. It looks just a little bland. So I think I want to go ahead and add an image about me. So on my page here, I have all kinds of layouts here over on the right hand side. I can have a layout with a picture and then some text or two pictures or so on. I think this layout with a picture is going to be perfect. So one thing I strongly recommend is that you use your Google Drive folder or create a Google Drive folder to house everything that you put into your ePortfolio. So here, I'm going to My Drive. I'm going to click on New, and I'm creating a new folder. And I'm labeling it ePortfolio Folder. and that's good enough. It, it truly doesn't matter what I label it. All that matters is I label it something that makes sense to me. So um, for me, the easiest is ePortfolio. Now, what I want to do is upload a picture. So I'm going to go to New, and then File Upload. I'm going to my pictures on my desktop. I don't have a ton to choose from, but I am going to pick this one of my daughter and I, so sh don't say anything because, you know, she's 17. So I'm uploading that picture. There it is. Awesome. So now I'm going back to my ePortfolio, and I'm clicking here to add an image from Drive. So I clicked over on Drive, and there's my ePortfolio folder. I double click there. There's the image that I want. Down here I'm clicking, oops, you can't quite see that. Down here on the bottom right hand corner, I'm going to click Insert. And beautiful, there is that picture. Something that Classic Site can't do is make things as beautiful here as the picture. Now, um, I can add text, um, me and my daughter, and then go on to say some other things about her if I choose to. I won't do all of that right now. My purpose is just to illustrate for you. So anytime you make any changes to your ePortfolio, you want to publish. So I've just made some changes to the content, some changes to the About Me page. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click the word Publish. And it gives me the option to review changes. So over here it tells me that I updated the About Me page. It shows me what is now um, going to be the draft. And it also shows me what used to be. So we can see that the draft shows those changes that I made. And over here, it shows me what used to be. Absolutely, I want to go with the draft. So I'm going to click on the word Publish. Anytime you make a change, you definitely want to click on the word Publish. One last thing I want to show you about the permissions on your Google Sites is the um, sharing feature. So up here we have the person with the plus. I clicked on it rather quickly and it brings up this dialog box and here I don't recommend that you add people or groups because that gives them the opportunity to make changes to your portfolio. So I suggest that you don't add anyone up here. You may want to add another email of yours. Um, but you definitely don't want to add anybody other than yourself. But down here where it says links, I want you to click on the word change. Now, draft restricted, absolutely. 
you keep that restricted. You don't want anyone being able to go in and do anything to your ePortfolio. However, the published site, let's go ahead and click that down arrow and click public. So anyone on the internet can find an open. Now, you're only going to give the link to those people that you want to have it. Your professors, you're going to give it to potential employers. I've definitely had students in the past who have given this to um, future employers and really showcased who they were and what they were capable of doing. Absolutely want to do that. Again, I'm going to check one more time. Do I need to click Publish? I click Publish and it tells me that there are no unpublished changes to review, so that's good. So I'm going to go ahead and go back. So here, copy publish site link. I'm going to copy that link because I'm going to give this link to my instructor. So going back to my canvas and going to the assignment box, uh, here's an example. Yours may be different depending on your instructor, but here's the example. Click on that, and then you have Submit Assignment. So I'm going to paste my website URL right there, and then I'm going to click Submit. And boom, my assignment is, committed, is submitted. Now I'm going to go in as the instructor and see what happens. So hold on one moment. All right, now as the instructor, I go back in. I go to my speed grader. I take a look at what has been submitted. As the test student, I see now the ePortfolio, and I see that About Me page. That's the page I was on when I submitted the link. So that's the page that's showing up in my speed grader. So I'm going to click on this googlesites.com site and see what happens. Oh, it says I can't open the page, but let me see if I can do it in a new window. And boom, I can see it in a new window and able to see everything that was created. Again, incredibly important that you make sure that you manage the links so that anyone with a link can view that you make sure every time you make a change to your portfolio that you are publishing it and that when you're asked to submit a page that you submit the page that you are being asked to submit and when i submitted this one i was on the about me page so when that link was submitted and the instructor clicked on it then it took the instructor right to where the student was when the student submitted the link to the portfolio. All right, I hope this is helpful. Reach out to your instructor with questions.